I was watching as one of my writing prompts beginners looked at each writing prompt journal page, thinking, considering, planning. Finally, she chose the writing prompts about friendship and she headed back to her desk. I was so blessed by her intentionality. In teaching, there are so many difficult decisions. And although I find writing instruction easy to differentiate, I often had some emotional turmoil as to whether or not I was cheating when I used writing prompts for kids. Most of the time for writing instruction time in my class was focused on teaching the writing genre. Throughout each genre, I would be a pre teaching spiraling lessons on voice, punctuation, grammar, parts of speech, etc. But then I would come across some super cute daily writing prompts for second grade, and I would think, hmm, how can I incorporate this? Once I had that figured out, I beat myself up just a little for letting fun prevail when serious work, work needed to prevail. However, I continued to include writing prompts into my teaching because fun is essential for childhood. But then I got to thinking, are writing prompts for lower elementary students bad? Or is it that just me making assumptions? Was I listening to teachers with their own biases or was I following research? Ah, time to dig into the research for writing prompts beginners. Hi there teachers, Marian Busfield here from Engaging Curiosity to empower you to take charge in the classroom by supporting you with classroom management strategies and resources. Today, I am talking about writing prompts beginners, how to choose success for your writers now. That's my blog post. And I am a faith-led, married, mother of two, grandmother to one, outdoor enthusiast and retired teacher. My passion is to share what I know about teaching to support this wonderful new generation of teachers. In the links down below, you will find my free classroom management checklist. Inside, you will find my five pillars of classroom management broken down into steps you can take one at a time. A goal setting page is included so you can decide what to cross off your list next. Download the checklist now and set your goals today. Thank you for joining me and let's get started. We'll start with inductive writing instruction using writing prompts with pictures for students. Writing prompts are an inductive approach to learning. So what does that mean anyways? Induct the inductive process is very different from a deductive process, which is very centered on sage on stage teaching and when students are given exactly what they are supposed to learn. Inductive learning for elementary students is when students are provided with learning activities that encourage students to make knowledge through inquiry or exploration, reason, observation, and experience. Inductive learning is based on a constructivist method and active learning approach in which students construct or build, build knowledge rather than just passively taking in information. Constructivism requires a more active learning approach on behalf of the student. Children experience the world and reflect upon their experiences. Through this, they build their own ideas and thoughts into their existing knowledge. So, supporting writing prompts beginners aligns with constructivism and active learning. Because writing prompts lean heavily upon an inductive approach to learning, writing prompts beginners will be drawing upon things or activities about which they already have knowledge. Many writing prompts for lower elementary students are drawing upon the text to text, text to world, and text to self experiences the student who is writing about. So for that reason, open ended and broad writing prompts to improve writing are important for student success. Students who are writing prompts beginners are then able to present material in a way that is familiar to them. The teacher may choose to fill in gaps and support making connections. By supporting writing prompts with other activities such as writing provocations, student discussion, brainstorming with friends, partner editing, and sharing stories aloud, students are able to learn from each other. For writing prompts beginners who have a difficult time getting started, images on the writing prompts can help them to get started. Interestingly, if you look at some of the research, there's actually research that says images limit student creativity. However, there is other evidence that supports the use of writing prompts with pictures as differentiation for ELL learners and visual learners and as an extra rung in the, in the ladder for students who need scaffolding in coming up with ideas for writing. And images would support inductive learning. So you, the teacher, have to know the students in order to make a decision to use writing prompts with pictures for students or the teacher needs to leave the option to choose writing pages with or without an image or prompt to provide each student choice. But I've never had a student who preferred to work without the prompt and picture. I know that in my own life, I am often making connections with what I see and hear. Those connections are not always the same as connections that others are making, sometimes rarely so. 
As I transfer this thought to providing students with writing prompts and to what I see as a primary purpose of writing prompts, I like this element of choice a lot because choice is also an element of differentiation. Win-win. Do prompts help writing prompt beginners grow as writers overall? So there are eight positive attributes of the use of writing prompts that have been identified. One, using writing prompts to create engagement for writing prompts beginners. Writing prompts should provide writing prompts beginners with intriguing and thought-provoking topics that capture their interest. This often creates an emotional connection between the students and the topic. This emotional investment creates more active involvement in the writing process. This, in turn, can lead to increased motivation and a deeper connection to the material. Two, development of critical thinking. A well-written prompt that is appropriate to student knowledge and experience encourages critical thinking as students analyze, evaluate, and synthesize information. As students articulate their own thoughts in their writing, they're then challenged to consider different perspectives when they listen to the writing of others. Now, a simple writing prompts stimulate higher order cognitive skills. Of course, depending upon the prompt and prompt genre, this may lead students to develop a deeper understanding of the subject matter. Support the discovery of new ideas and perspectives is number three. Writing prompts can serve as a catalyst for discovery. Writing prompt beginners may end up exploring new ideas, perspectives, and areas of knowledge. Writing prompts may encourage curiosity and an enthusiasm for inquiry, inquiry through peer discussion, reflection, editing, and sharing. Teachers may create a learning environment where students can make new connections and expand their intellectual horizons. Four, writing prompts and writing skill improvement can go hand in hand. One of the key benefits of writing prompts is how they help to develop writing skills in writing prompt beginners. Regular practice with different prompts strengthens students' ability to express ideas coherently, use language effectively, and refine their writing style. Overall, this ongoing development contributes to students' overall proficiency as communicators. Number five, writing prompts make teacher prep more efficient. Effective writing prompts can be used in more than just the writing block. For example, teachers can design a writing prompt that meets a specific learning prompt and then find videos, readings, and hands-on activities that build student knowledge on that topic. This creates a framework that makes designing activities that align with specific learning objectives easier. Time is utilized efficiently and students are guided towards meaningful and relevant writing experiences that align with the curriculum. Uh, number six, build classroom collaboration and community with writing prompts. Choose some of your writing prompts that seem suitable to encourage collaborative efforts. Group writing activities foster teamwork, communication, and the exchange of ideas among students. One of my favorite activities of the school year was to do a nonfiction group book together. I've shared the link to that blog post in the description. With the appropriate classroom management, collaborative quick write prompts with pictures can create a sense of community in the classroom, enhancing the overall learning experience. This impact on the learning environment is also a part of differentiation in the classroom. And again, I've got links to those blog posts below. Number seven, connection to curriculum and other disciplines. As mentioned under class preparation, writing prompts can become a perfect way for teachers to align curriculum goals and connect with other subjects. Integrating subjects by using writing prompts about animals during science, for example, helps students to see the relevance of writing in and for various contexts. This in turn promotes a holistic understanding of how writing skills are applicable across different subject areas. Meanwhile, this type of integration is how to use writing prompts to improve writing. And lastly, number eight, development of personal values in writing prompts beginners for beginners. Personal narrative and opinion writing prompts from other gen genres often prompt students to reflect on their personal values and beliefs. By providing students with this built-in opportunity to reflect, teachers may help students develop a deeper understanding of themselves, nurturing personal growth and self-awareness in addition to academic development. Personally, I love to teach about subjects like bullying, using good picture books and providing raw writing prompts inspiration to guide students' thoughts and reflection. I have found this to be very effective. Clearly, there are opportunities to use writing prompts throughout the day. Writing prompts journals are well suited to be an important part of not only your writing class, but all day. I confess that I love to teach science and parts of social studies, and I devoted extra time to it in my weekly lessons. 
I did have time blocked out for ELA every single day, of course. However, I find that other teachers spent more time on ELA than I did, and I worried about that. But when I really evaluated the situation, the extra time that many other teachers were dedicating to ELA, I filled with rich explorations. We really got to dig into topics that students loved because of this extra time. And that was reflected in their writing engagement. I did not call it a ticket out the door or an assessment or anything that may make the students balk at the writing assignment. Because when students are passionately invested in their topic and they have learned that writing is a good thing, they become engaged writers. So teachers, you've got this, maybe not all of it tomorrow or even the day after, but I believe that your desire to be the best teacher you can be will take you there. Be gentle with yourself and take it one step at a time. Writing prompts beginners are no longer beginners. They become passionate and engaged writers who release their enthusiasm onto the paper and they will have you to thank for that. And I just want to mention, I do have writing prompts in my store on Teacher Paid Teacher and I will leave the link to that below if you're interested in seeing what I've created. Regardless, I encourage you to include writing prompts in your classroom day. Thanks so much for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.